Welcome back, DC comic fans are pumped for the release of Aquaman, the sea lord and land dweller is featured in a film set to make waves, if you will, at the box office this weekend, and it stars a heartthrob, you gotta say it like this, Jason. Momoa. You do that. You know? <laughs> we spoke to his co-star, Amber Heard, about why she was at first apprehensive about taking on the film and what finally brought her around. Here's Janice Fernandez. Permission to come aboard. Jason Momoa is a hero born of land and sea in Aquaman. Last time we saw him, he was joining the Justice League alongside Batman and Wonder Woman. I am no kid. Now fans will get to see how he became king of Atlantis. I've been looking for you. And Amber Heard's Mira is a big part of that. She saves him a ton. And she also, Mira is the driving force of the, of the movie. She's the first one to figure everything out. She knows there's a plan. She figures it out. She acts on it. And I love that about this character. Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. While most actors would jump at the opportunity of starring in a superhero blockbuster, the director actually had to talk her into it. I'm bored by the same formulaic approach to telling stories and creating and maintaining these long-held gender norms. And um, I was delightfully surprised. He said, no, 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 no. no. Just promise me you'll read the comic book. This is not that girl. This is not that kind of superhero. In this trident, resides the power of Atlantis. And when she read the script, the first scene alone was enough to convince her to take the role. She hears a, a villager mistakenly refer to her as Aqua Woman, and she stops in her track and she turns to him and she says, hey, excuse me, I'm not Aqua Woman, I have my own name. My name is Mira. And I was like, yeah, I can get, I can get behind this woman. I can get behind that. I want to strap in. Okay, so it's no secret that the movie takes place mostly underwater. A lot of that came to life thanks to green screen effects, but the rest of it was real, sort of. Ironically, when we were when we were above, we were out on land, and that's when we had to be wet. Because when you're underwater, you don't look wet. I mean, you're underwater. So it was a very, it was a, it was a kind of trippy thing to do for all of our underwater stuff to be dry, and then all of our above above, uh, you know, above water be soaking wet. Wow, looks like a good one. Aquaman is in theaters now. And